In this video, we show how to patch Red Hat editors using Blade Logic. So the step one is to create a patch catalog. We've already created a patch catalog here. Uh, we'll open the catalog and see the properties. So now we'll look at the properties of the catalog. Uh, it is created for RHGL Red Hat 7 and then it is the catalog is configured to pull down all the different types of errors. We've already executed an update of this catalog and we'll see it has pulled down like over a thousand errors here. Now we'll go ahead and create a patching job. Oh, before that uh, we'll also create a smart group of the errors that we actually want to patch. So here we have created, we want to patch these two errors, so we created this smart group. And now uh, we'll go and create a patching job of this catalog. We'll give it some name here. So let's see if... 5th, uh, 5th February 2016 Red Hat and uh, we'll store it somewhere in some folder so what we'll do is we'll include the uh, the smart group of the errors that we want to uh, execute this patching job against uh, we can also create like remediation artifacts, uh, but we'll not uh, cover this in this video. And we'll select the servers that we want to patch. So I've already created a smart group of web servers that I want to patch. So we'll patch against, execute, execute this patching job against that set of uh, servers. So these are the three servers that we'll use for that we'll try to patch in this in this in this tutorial. So the patching job has already started executing. And let us go and look at the results of this patching job. So the job is running yet. Okay, so the job has finished now and then we'll find that all the three machines have found like two error tasks miss missing. So we see that two of these error tasks are missing and then they span these many RPMs. We'll also Okay, so each of these server is missing both these errors and the set of RPMs that is spawned by those errors. Now we remediate all these servers. So we'll create a remediation job which will eventually help us create the deploy jobs that will actually go and deploy the patches on the servers. Let's give it some name here. There are several, several dif uh, we'll, we'll save it, we'll save it, it will end up generating a BL package, so we save the BL package somewhere, which will actually be uh, deployed. Let's also give a location to save the batch job and the deploy jobs that will be executed to deploy the missing patches. So there are different deploy job options that can be set here. We will not get into the details of these options for now. And what we'll do is we'll just execute this deploy job as soon as the remediation job has is done creating these packages. There are several different properties here that can be set. Just 
just go ahead and say OK and we say next and then we execute this job now say finish this job will start executing immediately So the remediation job has started execution. The remediation job has generated the deploy jobs and the deploy jobs are executing now. The deploy jobs may take a while to execute so we'll pause here and then uh, we'll come back in some time. Okay, now so the deploy jobs are has has completed execution. We see that all the three targets, the three servers have been patched successfully. We'll run the analysis again on all three on all the three servers to make sure that uh, to just check that it is not reporting any more missing errors. So it is not reporting any more missing patches and we have successfully patched. Thank you for watching this video.